Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Monday, April the 11th, 2011. It's year one, Lent five, and week seven of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 106, verse 1 to 18, and Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 1 to 10. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. O oh, give thanks to Yahweh who is good, whose mercy endures forever. Psalm 106 O oh, give thanks to Yahweh who is good, whose mercy endures forever. Who can tell his mighty deeds? Who can recount all God's praises? They are happy who do what is right, who at all times do what is just. O oh, remember me out of the love you have for your people. Come to me with your help, that I may see the joy of your chosen ones, and may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, and share the glory of your people. Our sin is the sin of our ancestors. We have done wrong, our deeds have been evil. Our ancestors, when they were in Egypt, paid no heed to your wonderful deeds. They forgot the greatness of your love. At the Red Sea they defied the Most High, and yet you saved them for your own namesake, in order to make known your power. You threatened the Red Sea, and it dried up. You led them through the deep as through the desert. You saved them from the hand of the foe, and saved them from the grip of the enemy. The waters covered their oppressors. Not one of them was left alive. Then they believed in your words, and then they sang your praises. But soon they forgot your deeds and would not wait upon your will. They yielded to their cravings in the desert and put you to the test in the wilderness. You gave them all they asked for but sent disease among them. And then they rebelled, envious of Moses and Aaron, who was holy to you. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and buried the clan of Abiram. And fire blazed up against their clan and flames devoured the rebels. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh, give thanks to Yahweh who is good, whose mercy endures forever. The lesson is from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 24, beginning in verse 1. Yahweh showed me two baskets of figs placed before the temple of Yahweh. This was after King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon had taken into exile from Jerusalem King Jochanai and son of Jehoiakim of Judah, together with the officials of Judah, the artisans and the smiths, and had brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, like first ripe figs, but the other basket had very bad figs, so bad that they could not be eaten. And Yahweh said to me, What do you see, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good, and the bad figs, very bad, so bad they cannot be eaten. And then the word of Yahweh came to me, Thus says Yahweh, the God of Israel, Like these good figs, so I will regard as good the exiles from Judah, whom I have sent away from this place to the land of the Chaldeans. I will set my eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them up and not tear them down. I will plant them and not pluck them up. I will give them a heart to know that I am Yahweh, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. But thus says Yahweh, like the bad figs that are so bad they cannot be eaten. So I will treat King Zedekiah of Judah, his officials, the remnant of Jerusalem who remain in this land, and those who live in the land of Egypt. I will make them a horror, an evil thing, to all the kingdoms of the earth, a disgrace, a byword, a taunt, and a curse in all places where I shall drive them. And I will send sword, famine, and pestilence upon them until they are utterly destroyed from the land I gave to them and their ancestors. Here ends the lesson. 
Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the welfare of the church, for Christian unity, for Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all of our church leaders, for Barack and all the leaders of this nation and the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace, for the poor and the oppressed, for the hungry and the sick, especially Stephen Michael, Melody, Annabelle, for a cure for cancer, and for all who suffer, especially Joe and Dan, for the widowed and the orphaned, for the unemployed, especially James and Bill and Robert, for the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Judith, for those in prison and those who are held captive, for the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush towards Christ. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you call us to begin this day in dedication to you. May all who need your help today experience your love and compassion through us. Bless all the children of this world, especially those suffering starvation, malnutrition, and disease. May all Christians come to their aid and provide them with all they need. This we ask in union with all the innocent and the poor in spirit who stand in your presence now and forever. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Amen.